In this episode of That's Gotta Hurt, I'm going to talk to you about Dallas Cowboys center Travis Frederick and his Guillain-Barre syndrome and whether or not you could actually develop this problem and what you could do about it. And I'm going to take on the most intimidating piece of fitness equipment in my gym, the Versa Climber. It's That's Gotta Hurt with Dr. David Geyer. Let's go. This episode of That's Gotta Hurt, I'm gonna take on the Versa Climber as a finisher. I saw this idea in a book called Play On. I think it's like the new science of elite performance at any age. And it talks about how you should be able to climb 400 meters, I guess, or 400 feet, I don't know what the unit is, in four minutes. And I can do that. But I use this as a finisher, meaning I've already worked out and now I'm going to do this. And I'm gonna do it as a high intensity interval training workout where basically I do it hard for 10 seconds and then slow like this for 50. This should be tough because it's really gonna burn. It was announced this week that Dallas Cowboys center Travis Frederick was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome. Now he had been having tingling in his shoulder and his nerve and his neck. He thought that he had pinched a nerve in his neck, maybe had done something in practice. In fact, everybody thought it was stingers. I did a radio interview and the radio host asked me about stingers because that's what they thought it was going to be. Turns out he announced on his Twitter page, already starting to get a little winded trying to talk while doing this, announced on his Twitter page that he had Guillain-Barre syndrome. Now what Guillain-Barre syndrome is, is it's a very rare neurologic disorder. We think it affects about one of every 100,000 people. And basically what happens is, for some reason, your immune system starts attacking, attacking your own nerve cells and the, the sheath, the myelin coating around the nerves and your arms, legs, fingers, hands, things like that. Usually it comes on after some sort of respiratory or intestinal infection. We think that something about those particular bacteria, you know, resemble that myelin coating of the nerves closely enough that your immune system starts attacking those nerve cells. Ah, it's already starting to burn. What people typically experience, and this may go along with Travis Frederick, is that a lot of times you notice tingling, say, in your feet. Maybe it's in your arms. Maybe it's a little bit of numbness, things like that. But fairly quickly, you actually start to develop weakness, and it's weakness on both sides of the body. So these guys start having trouble walking up and down stairs, trouble walking, and it can be really bad. Again, it's typically in the legs, but it can be in the, the arms, can actually spread up into your face, can actually make it really tough to breathe. Now, in some people, the symptoms are fairly mild, goes away fairly quickly. The worst of the symptoms are going to be within the first couple of weeks. But in some people, they can get so weak, they can, they can actually be paralyzed. They could actually even need a breathing tube because their breathing muscles are shut down enough that they can't breathe. Now, there is no cure for Guillain-Barre. There's no medicine that just makes it go away. All the symptoms or all the treatments are really dedicated to lessening the symptoms.
Now the two accepted treatments for this typically are what's called plasma exchange or IV immunoglobulin. So plasma exchange is where the doctors will put in an IV and draw out a lot of the plasma, the thick component of the blood, not the red blood cells and the white blood cells. Take the plasma out, somehow filter it for those bad antibodies and re-inject the plasma. And that's thought to, if anything, sort of dilute uh, the bad antibodies that are attacking the myelin cells and hopefully decrease symptoms. <sighs> this is burning whole body. Part of the problem I'm having right now, yes, I've already worked out, I've already lifted weights. This is also day two of a three day fast. So it's been about 40 hours since I've last had any food. And that was mostly cheese, so no carbs in the system at all. The other treatment that can be tried is called IV immunoglobulin. Now immunoglobulin is something that our body makes, our immune system makes, to fight outside organisms, fight foreign material. So you can basically create an immunoglobulin in the lab from donors and re-inject it. And the thought with immunoglobulin is that maybe those immunoglobulins are attacking your antibodies that are fighting your myelin and your nervous system, or they may be diluting the bad antibodies and sort of lessening their effect. Now, the trick is knowing what the future holds. Fortunately, 70% of people make a full recovery, but that can be over a few weeks, that can be over a few years. Unfortunately, about 30% of people don't make a full recovery, and a lot of people have a persistent weakness that persists in the rest of their lives. So that's why this is gonna be hard for Travis Fred. You know, he was first round draft pick in 2013. He's been a four time pro bowler. I think he was one time all pro. Signed a $56 million contract to make him the highest paid center in the league. And he's never missed a game in the NFL. The team was gonna hold him out of all preseason. I wouldn't expect him to see him, to see him back anytime soon, if at all this season. Let's just hope we see him going forward. Let's hope he's not in the 3% that never make a full recovery and that he has persistent weakness that he never overcomes. All right, that's pretty much it on Travis Frederick. He tweeted that he's hopeful and his doctors are optimistic because they caught this fairly early in the course and started treatment. I think this is so unpredictable, we're just not gonna know if he gets back to play again and if he has any long-term issues. That's gonna wrap up this episode of That's Gotta Hurt. If you have other challenges like this, leave those in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.